Howdy folks, it's me again, your Chief Edulansi. Well, uh, we are actually on the roads and we are going to Subic Freeport Zone, or as we call it as SBFC, located in the uh, Sambales uh, region area. And uh, in this uh, particular video, I'll be discussing, uh, out of curiosity, I'd like to show you uh, one particular thing. And this is uh, uh, something that you uh, always uh, see on the roads especially in uh, busy roads and actually uh, I can see them right now they are just like uh, big huge trucks and they are mostly carried by 16 wheeler uh, trucks now uh, for most uh, in Lehman's store basically we just look at them as boxes or uh, when we term it in shipping we call them as containers so uh, and as we go on and I'm gonna show you and let's wait for uh, one truck that we are gonna be passing along the side. I'm gonna open the window and I'll just show you a bit of this uh, truck. This is a so-called container truck. It's being towed by a trucker and uh, on top of it, it's what we call the container. Now, I'll be discussing that in a few moments. Just to give you also an idea where are, uh, where are we going right now, we are actually in Tipo uh, Express uh, Way and uh, we are passing through a tunnel as you can see. Oops, there's this truck uh, overtaking us, a dump truck. There has been a lot of renovations uh, in this uh, particular roads. As you can see, uh, they have already doubled the lanes and now you can actually uh, pass through two lanes in one direction yeah. right so uh, we are actually gonna show you the container terminal of Subic Freeport zone where it's located just uh, in perpendicular to the uh, naval uh, base uh, of the Philippine Navy which is uh, actually a former base of the US Navy actually so uh, yeah in just a few moments and this are Stacks of containers. They are stacks like Lego, Legoland. See, of course you could see the, the markings such as Mercs, Hapagloids, Costco, CMH, CGM, and Evergreen, and so many other things. And as you are looking at, we are passing through a lot of container trucks, waiting for the turn to go in and get out of the container terminal area. So as you can see there are different markings and that's exactly where the International Terminal Corporation of Subic Bay is located. You can see also as well the cranes in there. So right this is the container terminal area. Now let's get into details about containers and container ships. Basically the bulk of items or things you are using looking at or even the gadgets that is used to view this video were actually shipped and transported through containers and container ships. Yes, this could be the food you eat, the clothes you wear, we have anything from bananas to apples to anything that fits in inside these huge containers. This includes perishable goods, frozen meats, or even toxic and chemical cargoes. And not to mention your balikbayan boxes. Mostly, cargos will come in standard sizes or even in extraordinary shapes as long as it fits in and allowed to be transported under the IMDG codes. These freight containers are reusable storage units that can move products and materials all throughout and in between shipping ports around the globe. Large proportion are transported via international trade routes. There are millions of these containers. The figure may vary but it's close to about 20 millions. Some are even discarded, scrapped, or even utilized in different uses such as low-cost housing constructions and quick fixes for offices and other structures in land. There are two common sizes of these containers. Intermodal freight containers as they are internationally categorized and defined. One standard size is the so-called TEU. A TEU or 20-foot equivalent unit is an exact unit of measurement used to determine cargo capacity for container ships and terminals. This measurement is derived from the dimensions of a 20-feet standardized shipping container, while the larger one, 
it's basically double in length, is the so-called FEU. FEU is defined as 40 foot equivalent unit and is the size for a 40 feet standard shipping container. One FEU container's internal dimensions measures 40 feet in length, nearly 8 feet in width, and approximately 8.1 feet in height, and can carry a total payload weight about 26,730 kilograms. There are, of course, carried in container ship. Some are carried in general cargo vessel or even multi-purpose vessel of ship's type, which the two latter type of ships has cranes fitted on them, while the large container ships, or in general, most container ships are geared meaning to say they are offloaded or loaded in ports during operations through the use of port or container terminal cranes. Central planners of the shipping company offshore offices takes a huge undertaking to make sure such commodities are transported efficiently. Hence, these plans are forwarded to the vessel and to the chief officer through the master's supervision, which in turn will make a thorough check of the loading and unloading in terms of safety and ship stability. Loading are basically started in the bottom. They are stuck up like a Legos. Cargo holes can be as deep as 40 meters or even deeper. You will find in the cargo holds and top deck level the so-called cell guides, as shown and as encircled. It keeps the container in place. Once the holes are filled up, hence a hatch cover will be secured. Thus, on top or deck level of the hatch cover, more containers can be added. After which, lashing and inspection of storage will be Undertaken. Majority of container ships has only a short duration of stay in their ports of call. This is mostly due to the nature of their shipping trade routes, the charter air voyage design in terms of cargo to be delivered, and the amount of containers to be loaded or unloaded. Loading and unloading can even take place simultaneously, whilst parcels of cargo are only offloaded in a certain ports and the rest of the parcels of cargo are destined for other ports of destination. Seafarers in this kind of vessels doesn't have much of the luxury of time to go ashore due to short duration of operations. There are other issues as well with container terminals, such as containers that are li literally stranded in busy ports. Most cases, terminals can handle such complexity of operations. However, this is not just about the lack of import or export in certain countries, but the traffic of vessels going in and out where congestion takes place. This topic is better explained as per link in the upper right corner of the screen. Let's talk about sizes of container ships. In addition, as an added knowledge, at this moment in time, the largest container vessel built and in operation up to this date as follows. Number one, HMM Algeciras. HMM Algeciras is the world's largest container ship with about 24,000 TEU capacity. It is one of 12 24,000 TEU class vessels, eco-friendly container vessels. Uh, you could just imagine, if you do the math, 24,000 pieces of 20-footer containers. Well, if you are carrying 40-footer container, then you divide it into two, that will be around 12,000 FEU. So it's really huge. You can see the images are shown. Now, uh, talking about the length overall of a vessel, if we compare it to an, an aircraft carrier like the Gerald Ford of the United States Navy, the length of the vessel, this is not toy comparing uh, merchant vessels and uh, military vessels. We are just talking about length. The length of that aircraft carrier is about 332 meters. This HMM Algeciras is about 399.9 meters. It's basically 400 meters. It's almost close to half a kilometer. So, here we go. This video presentation is intended for the common masses who doesn't sail at sea. For more in-depth discussion of cargo operation, onboard container ship, and cargo handling, keep posted for upcoming lectures. Thank you.